All right, today let's have a look at um, this uh, KBATCH question, which is related to the percentage change um, in Y. Uh, which is why I call KBATCH, right? Because normally in differentiation, right, you will only see the uh, normal small change. But this one actually they combine between the small change and the percentage change so it have its own formula for a percentage change so here i at least i want you to know the simple formula so the percentage change in x example so it's just change of x divided by original x multiply 100 percent so Based on this formula, it's not hard to guess if today I have the percentage change in y. Then I will use the same formula here, which is a change of y over y multiply 100%. So, okay, over here, let me explain uh, what is um, x. x is basically the original x value. In this case, let's say the x is 2. Then you just insert the 2 over here. So in this question, they give us a y equation that tell us when x equals to 2, there's a small change in x, which is 3%. So this 3% is not the change of x here. It's basically, it's a percentage change in x. So if I want to sub this 3% into this formula, okay, this is what happened. So you just imagine. So I will say change of x is what I do not know. Original value of x, I guess, is 2. And then what multiply 100% equals to 3% because the 3% is a percentage change in x. So by solving this one, I should be able to easily get the value for change of x. So my change of x should be, uh, this one is 3% divided by 100%, right? If I move there, so it'll be 3 over 100. And then the 2, divide 2, move to the other side, multiply 2, isn't it? So I guess I got my change of x, which is 0 0.06. Okay, I will leave my answer here now because later I need it to help me to find change of y. Right, then find the corresponding percentage change in y. So in order to find change uh, in y, we have a small chain formula, right? I believe all of you know the small chain formula. The small chain formula is change of y over change of x equals to dy dx, isn't it? So change of y is what I want to find, so I'm going to leave that. Uh, change of x, I got it already, is 0 0.06. dy dx is not hard also, right? Basically, we differentiate this equation. Uh, which is uh, 4x minus 4. And then we already know our x value is 2, right? Which is original x value is 2. So I will just insert into here. So therefore, I might change y. This one is basically 4 times 2 because I insert the 2 into x, right? So it's 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. And then I'm going to move this thing to the other side, become multiply 0 0.06 here. So I should get something like 0 0.24, which is my change of y. Okay, now I have the change of y. So in order to get this percentage change in y, I need the or I need to know the original value of y. So I will just sub the two back into the original equation here. Do you see that? So my y is basically two, two power of two minus four, two plus six, uh, which is eight minus eight zero. So my y is six. So right now I know my original value of y is six. Then I'm kind of able to get the percentage change now. So this one is 0 0.24 and this one will be 6 and then we multiply 100%. So over here, I can just uh, type everything into the calculator to get my final answer correct. I think you will get about 4% at the end. Okay, so this one is the percentage change in Y. So over here, for all the students, if you want to like able to do this kind of KBAT question, Please uh, copy down these two formula. Yeah, you're going to use it. It will be very useful whenever you see the keyword like percentage change either in X or in Y. I hope you learned some, something in this video. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye and thanks for watching.